you know, <laughs> uh, you face your feet. Um, you're in my half guard this way. So we're going to look at foot fighting from um, the half guard, which is why Tyrone's showing you his, uh, his back and his ass. Uh, so it's what I'm doing on my feet the important part. But from our position, obviously I want the leech hook and stuff. Let's just talk about basic control from traditional half guard, which would be um, my inside leg is controlling Tyrone's right leg, okay? So again, that's normally taught as a triangle. The problem is, uh, and then I'd be pinching my knees. The problem with that is Tyrone can, you know, move into cut cross pass positions on me. So pinching is really not great control. Plus it's exertive as well. So think about when you make the, the, tri the, the control from the, the traditional half guard with the inside leg, I, instead of um, pinching, I want to be scissoring. So my um, right um, calf is going to be pushing um, to my left, as my left calf is pushing to my right. You can't really see this visually, but I've made wedges on either side of Tyrone's knee. So I'm doing this. I haven't even locked the triangle. But if Tyrone now tries to actually pull his neck out, it's going to be a lot more harder because I've just made those wedges. So think about, this is our first pathway. Before I get the lead shoot down, anytime I'm, I'm in half guard and I want to control, think, of, think about half guard as like two on ones with the legs. I'm controlling um, Tyrone's right leg with both my legs. So one on the inside, one on the outside. In the, in the first stage of control, my inside leg, my right leg is controlling his right leg. But rather than just making a triangle and pinching my knees, which is the weaker muscles, using my adductors, I want to be using my thighs. It's like a scissor sweep. So <clears throat> my right leg, my right hamstring will be pushing to my left, and my left thigh is pushing to my right. I haven't even locked my triangle yet. So if Tron tries to pull his leg out, it's going to be difficult. And now I'm looking for the leech hook. Okay. Once I get into the leech hook position, now I'm curling my left heel towards my butt. Okay. I'm also turning, when I, when I pull my left heel towards my butt, I'm also turning my left knee down and I'm also engaging my hip. My right leg is free, so if Tyrone actually tries to pull his leg back, it's going to be very difficult. If he tries to pull his right his right knee, his goal is to get his knee over my leg. Jump into the cut crawl, or yeah, it's gonna be difficult there. It's just not gonna happen. I've made wedges there. I sometimes in that battle, <clears throat> when I move from inside leg to outside leg control, once I'm doing this, Tyrone can windshield wiper his um, right foot inside. So notice the way now <clears throat> on this um a gymnast or a very flexible person, I wouldn't be able to get my left foot to the, controlling the outside um, of his right leg. So from here, my right foot can do a pass off. So it's just gonna pass, and then I have that hook again. So again, <coughs> heel back, knee down, hips engaged. Jerome tries to get his knee out from that position, even, even without an underhook, just pull it out there, bro. I'm really connected from that position. So now the goal will be to get his right knee past my right hip. So again, usually we do the stomp to do that. So I'm just kicking through. Again, I'm more of a fan of keeping this right leg free. Donaher likes to make the triangle from here. So if Tyrone tries to free his leg from this stage. Okay, so. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, so I that. And now from that position, if he's got a wizard on, I will be going straight into the sweeps. Um, another a method of control I can do from this position, I'll just I'll stay in that position again, is the lockdown, or Donner calls it the scorpion. So again, from, from our position, um, I'd be um, scissoring to keep that control. Okay. Once I'm in that position, I can use my leech hook, and then from there I can put the lockdown on. So once I once I get into my position, my left foot's coming from the outside, and I can basically stick the lockdown on Tyrone. 
This is a, a good, um, you know, made popular by the Tenth Planet guys. But anything anyone's trying to knee, knee cut across you, just go for your knee cut across. It really stops forward and backward movement. There's no way Jerome is going to be, even if he's the underhook from here, I mean, he tries to knee cut. It's just not going to happen. And you're pushing all that. Obviously, the weakness, there's a weakness in every movement Jiu Jitsu is. He can curve his heel up. It's good at forward and backward movement, but sucks at an up and down movement. But if you notice the position Tyrone has actually curled his leg into, that just gives me the leech hook, okay, which is what I wanted all along. And then from there, I need to stomp and I'm back into the whole sweep again. So just one more angle on that for us. <coughs> so if we use the lockdown, say um, Tyrone's in my half guard and he's got he's winning that underhook and I know he just wants to just yeah, just in the knee slice. Gosh, yes, take it back a step. Sometimes when we're there, I can kind of just close that down by sticking the lockdown on him. Of course, if he knows jiu-jitsu, he'll curl his heel up, but the minute he does, there's the wizard on, you know. And again from that position, if I win the underhook on him and do the stomp. I'm back into that control again for your leg now, bro. Okay, so foot fighting from half guard. 